Hello, everyone. Welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to learn about ISO 14040. 2006, which is Environmental Management, Life Cycle Assessment Principles and Framework. Firstly, what is ISO? ISO, the International Organization for Standardization, is a non-governmental international organization that make common standards to keep quality and safety of products or services. It cover wide range of fields such as time format, ISO 8601, food safety, ISO 22000, and environmental management, ISO 14001. Next, what is life cycle of product? Traditional concern with manufacturing sites and processes to analyze the environmental, social and economic impacts. While under life cycle thinking, LCT, it looks further than the traditional way, which can cover the whole life cycle of product or service. The product life cycle can begin with the extraction of raw materials and the generation of energy from underground natural resources. The materials and energy flow and emission to the environment then become part of the production, packaging, distribution, use, maintenance, and, ultimately, recycling, reuse, recovery or final disposal. With the help of the life cycle, it would help to develop a more complete understanding of the environmental impacts of a product or service. This is a product life cycle example with resource input and emission output. It shows a whole product life cycle from product design to end of life. It also cover the reuse, recycle and remanufacture in the last stage of life cycle. So what is ISO 14040, 2006? ISO 14040, 2006 is a standard and guide that published from environmental management experts which includes guides and rules of LCA, which is life cycle assessment. In the field of environmental management, life cycle means the environmental impacts of the whole procedure of the products or service usage, which cover from raw material extraction to its disposal. In short, life cycle assessment is the assess the environment impact of products or services completely. ISO 14040, 2006 cover four stages of the LCA, which include 1. Set goal and scope of LCA 2. Research on LCI, life cycle inventory analysis, 3. Research on LCIA, life cycle impact assessment, 4. Interpretation. This is a chart show the relationship between four main phases of life cycle assessment. It is important to notice that all four stages use to weigh arrow links, which means that they need to be cross-referenced and adjusted to ensure that the assessment complies with the principle and requirement. Phase 1. Goal and scope of LCA In this phase, the goal and the scope of the assessment are set to define the reason, boundary of the LCA. As for boundary, this identifies the boundaries of the goods and services that require environmental impact assessment. Also need to determine the data resource and its requirement. The boundary of LCA identifies the product's life cycle that need to evaluate. This makes sure the assessment is conducted within an appropriate boundary. LCA product system boundary The product system boundary summarizes the stages of the life cycle included in the assessment, starting with raw material extraction and manufacturing, use and end of life processes. The boundary can help to determine which processes and environmental impacts are considered in the assessment and which are not. Some cases can be excluded outside the system boundary, based on study objectives, data availability or practical limitations. The product system boundary is important, because it affects the fullness and accuracy of the LCA results. Different choices for defining boundaries can lead to different conclusions about the environmental impacts of a product or service. Here is an example of a product system for LCA. It covers some product use at stage in the system boundary, such as transport and waste treatment. Phase 2, Life Cycle Inventory Analysis, LCI. In this phase of life cycle assessment, which is life cycle inventory analysis, LCI, which is focus on data collection, 
data processing and interpretation. Data collection follows the requirement determined in previous phase, and it cover all input and output data of all the life cycle stage. Beside, data quantification and verification is needed to improve assessment accuracy and reliability. It is important that all three LCA stages that need to be interpreted and modified, which based on the feedback obtained at each stage to ensure that the life cycle can be fully analyzed. Phase 3, Life Cycle Impact Assessment, LCIA. In this phase of life cycle assessment, which is life cycle impact assessment, LCIA, which is quantifies the environmental impact from inventory analysis. This phase needs to define the indicator and category of the environmental impact before calculation. After obtained the data also need grouping and waiting to make sure the results is comply with actual situation. If the results show that cannot reach to the reach object, it same with other two phases, need to modify the goal and scope to make sure the whole assessment is valid. This page shows the element of the LCIA phase, it has two element, mandatory element that include LCIA results calculation and optional element, that apply depending on the situation. Phase 4. Interpretation in this phase of life cycle assessment, which is used to compile contents from all three phase which are scope and goal, LCA and LCIA to make sure three components are consistent with each other, and it can provide a full environmental effects of the life cycle. Beside, this part also provide conclusion and suggestion to decision maker which is consistent with scope and goal. Interpretation need to check with other three parts of the assessment, to improve the overall assessment quality. After the main phases of LCA, which is LCA reporting the reporting process is an essential part of the LCA. An effective report should address the different phases of the research under consideration. The findings and conclusions of the LCA are reported to the target audience in an appropriate format, describing the data, methods and assumptions applied in the study, and its limitations. LCA Critical Review Critical Review is a quality assurance step that improves the reliability of LCA, especially for those used for decision making, policy development or certification purposes. It helps to identify any potential limitations, uncertainties, or biases in the research, and can eventually help to improve the overall completeness of the LCA results. The critical review process involves a detailed review of the LCA study, as well as its methodology, data sources, assumptions and conclusions, by experts who were not directly involved in the development of the original study. Application of ISO 14040. 2006. ISO 14040. 2006 can be used to assess the environmental impact of a product or service over its entire life cycle, which allows it to be used in a wide range of industries, product design and development. ISO 14040 can be used to assess and reduce the environmental impact of products from the start of concept design. This allows for the creation of more environmentally friendly products. In addition to this, it is also possible to improve the environmental impact of the transportation and supply phases of the life cycle. Corporate Sustainability Reporting For corporations, ISO 14040 supports the results of LCAs as part of corporate sustainability reporting. This helps to improve a company's environmental responsibility engagement and compliance of its activities with appropriate environmental regulations and standards. Decision Support For decision makers, ISO 14040 is a support document for deciding on product and service processes, helping to understand and select the sustainable solution. The earliest concept of LCA came from the 1960s, and at this stage the purpose of LCA was to find the energy and materials consumed in the manufacturing process of a product. The Coca-Cola company attempted LCA related to the solution of beverage containers. In the next phase, 1970-1990, LCA started to popularize with all types of companies, but there was no common framework, methodology, and terminology. Therefore LCA was not widely recognized and used at this time. 
In addition, a similar concept was known as Reaper, Resource and Environmental Profile Analysis, in the United States and Eco Balance in Europe. Between 1990 and 2000, the ISO organization started to develop a standard LCA methodology in 1994 and published four standards, the principles and framework, ISO 14040, in 1997. The goal and scope definition, ISO 14041, in 1998, the life cycle impact assessment, ISO 14042, in 2000 and the life cycle interpretation, ISO 14043, in 2000 the standards for LCA were improved between 2000 and 2010, with the main part of the time period being refinement 2002 saw the establishment of the life cycle initiative. An international collaboration between the United Nations Environment Program, ANEP, and the United Nations Environment Program, CETAC. It has three programs, the Life Cycle Management, LCM, program, which raises awareness and enhances decision-making skills through the provision of information, C, the Life Cycle Impact Assessment, LCIA, program to improve the quality and global reach of life cycle indicators. The Life Cycle Sustainability Assessment LCSA, framework appeared after 2010 with the goal of considering the environmental, social and economic dimensions of sustainability. In contrast, as a result of these recent developments, LCA has evolved from environmental life cycle assessment to further holistic life cycle sustainability assessment evaluations. This is a formal LCSA framework. LCSA equals LCA plus LCC plus SLCA. Life Cycle Costing, LCC. LCC is a methodology used to assess the total costs associated with a product or system over its entire life cycle. Social Life Cycle Assessment, SLCA. SLCA focuses on the social dimension of sustainable development, considering the social impacts and related aspects of a product or service over its entire life cycle. Unlike LCA, LCSA is a modeling framework, not a model itself, a framework of cross-disciplinary models and approaches, selected and correlated, that are used to address and answer specific life cycle sustainability questions. LCSA is a framework that looks at sustainability from one viewpoint, that is, the life cycle viewpoint, and provides only life cycle answers, and no other viewpoints. In the future, the LCSA will become a more complete assessment model relative to the LCA, and will also be the direction to improve and enhance the LCA. Here is a quiz session. Does Phase 3 LCIA provide an overall assessment to all potential environmental issue related to the product life cycle? And the answer is no. LCIA results are limited from these reasons. 1. It only cover the environmental issues that are specified in the goal and scope. Phase 1. 2. It limited from LCI phase. Phase 2. Such as poor quality of LCI data, which may be due to inconsistencies or differences in the allocation and summary procedure, or the limitation of system boundary, don't cover all possible indicator of environment issue. This is a reference list used in this presentation video. That's all for this video ISO Life Cycle Assessment. Thank you for watching.